Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have been asking you guys lately to send in subjects on videos that you would like to see that are kind of like taboo subjects or subjects that people don't really talk about, maybe a little bit embarrassing. Maybe you think you're the only one and you're kind of afraid to ask your friends about it because honestly guys, I have no shame and I'm basically willing to talk about just about any subject here on my channel. So a lot of you guys requested a video on feminine hygiene and also on how to get rid of hair down there. I am going to be doing a separate video on my beliefs on feminine hygiene because I honestly, my phone is going off like crazy. Like I was saying, I personally have a lot to say about feminine hygiene and my personal feminine hygiene is actually pretty extended and a very long routine. So I am going to be coming out with a separate video all about feminine hygiene. And if you guys want to see my own personal routine and everything like that, definitely just let me know. But today's video, we're going to be talking about five ways to get rid of hair down there. I want to start off by saying that I think the trend right now, this day and age, is to kind of get rid of all the hair down there. I know that when I have talked about the subject with my mom and my grandmother and even my older sisters because I have sisters that are like in their 40s, um, they kind of think that it's a little bit weird and that it kind of resembles a little girl and why would you want to have no hair down there. But in my experience, because me and my girlfriends, we talk about honestly anything and everything, the new norm or what is considered in right now is getting getting rid of absolutely everything. So there may be more ways than what I personally thought of. So if you guys can think of any other ways to get rid of your hair down there, definitely just let me know in a comment down below. But today we're gonna to be talking about shaving, waxing, lasering, epilating, and using depilatories. Number one, and probably the most popular, I'm gonna say, and the most easiest way to go ahead and remove all of your hair is by using a razor and to just shave. The thing with shaving is that it only removes the very top layer of hair. So it's not removing anything below the skin surface or from the root of the hair. So because of that, you're not ever really going to get that very, very smooth surface. It's not going to last you as long. It's going to grow in a lot faster. And some girls suffer from a little bit of itchiness while your hair grows back in. Shaving can actually be very irritating for sensitive skin. So you definitely never, ever, ever. And I used to do this all the time when I first started shaving. You never want to shave on dry skin or just using water. You always want to use, I'm not going to say you always want to use a shaving cream because honestly, I don't think that a shaving cream is really absolutely essential every single time that you're going to shave But you do want to be sure to use either a bar soap or you can actually even use shampoo or conditioner You just want to make sure to lubricate that area extremely well before you shave it so that you don't get razor burn because oh that is one of the worst feelings in the world. And another good pointer is to shave as the very last step in your shower because that way your skin has already been kind of softened up by the hot water. I don't know why I was touching my shoulder. I don't, I don't shave my shoulders. Anyway, definitely save it as your last step in your shower. And shaving has to be the most easiest, convenient, and affordable way to get rid of your hair down there or anywhere else. So the second way that we're gonna talk about getting rid of hair down there is by waxing. When you walk into your wax appointment, they're gonna ask you what type of wax style or design that you prefer. There are two different ways. So if you prefer to get a bikini wax, it's basically just going to get rid of the hair that sticks out of your underwear or if you are wearing a bikini bottom. So it's basically along the sides. It's gonna to extend to in between your legs and most of the places do include your butthole. Definitely a weird sensation. Now, if you prefer a Brazilian wax, they're basically just gonna get rid of everything. 100% everything. Now, I'm not gonna say that this process is extremely painful. It's probably a four out of 10 on the whole painful scale. I will have to say that you have to be very comfortable with your body and with your private part. Whoever is performing that wax on you is definitely gonna be all up in your space. Any places that I've been to, they don't make you take off your underwear, but you have to kind of shove it to one side, shove it to the other side. And if you are getting a Brazilian done though, everything has to come off. Other than that, you are gonna be pretty sore and sensitive after your appointment. I'm gonna say going into the next day, it's definitely not something that you wanna do before a hot date. I believe you're not supposed to have sex the same day as waxing. The good thing about waxing though, is that since the hair is removed from the entire root, so that goes below the surface of your skin, whoa. 
ignore that. It is going to take about two full weeks for all of your hair to grow back in and when it does grow in, with the more times that you do it, your hair is gonna start growing in finer and finer. The only downsides I would say to getting a wax is the awkwardness, the pain, and the price. Here in New York, it ranges anywhere from about $50 to $75 for a wax, but again, it can last you up to two weeks. The number three way that we're gonna talk about removing your hair from down there is by lasering. This is something that I have not personally tried myself, but my younger sister has. It is uh, not even a little bit on the expensive side. It is on the expensive side. It's around $2,000 again here in New York for the entire course and you are going to need a number of sessions. It can take anywhere from six to ten sessions. Now when you laser your hair, the laser actually does kill the hair follicle. It like breaks down the keratin bonds inside of your hair which basically breaks down the hair follicle and then every single time that you go again and again it breaks down those follicles and your hair starts to grow in again finer and finer and finer with the end goal being that your hair will start not growing in at all. Bad side about this is there is no guarantee and I have known friends that have gone, they see these amazing package deals on Groupon to get it done really cheap and they go for their six, seven, eight sessions and it just doesn't work. There is no guarantee. It is a long process and from what I hear, it is a little bit more painful than waxing. But if you are one of those people that it does work on, then you will have absolutely no regrowth for the rest of your life. So the fourth way that we're gonna be talking about today is using a depilatory. So a patilla, what? A depilatory is a gel cream or lotion that you apply onto your skin and similar to the way that lasering works, it does break down that keratin bond within your hair follicle. You leave it on anywhere from about five to 10 minutes and your hair basically dissolves. It does remove it all the way from the root and you're able to just wipe your hairs away. Depilatories are pain-free, they're mess-free and one of my favorite things about it is after you apply it, you can just go ahead and jump into the shower. Depilatories are found based basically at any drugstore and they are pretty affordable. They're anywhere from five to $10. I am gonna say that the one big con or downfall to depilatories are the smell. I don't know what chemical is in these depilatories that they all have. If you guys ever picked up a bottle of Nair, you know what I'm talking about. When you apply them onto your skin, they kind of have this like burning hair smell it's almost unbearable. But if you can personally go ahead and stomach the smell, I did do a little bit of research and I found the three top rated depilatories and those are the Veet Fast Acting Gel Cream Hair Remover, the Nair Hair Remover Body Cream and the Veet In Shower Hair Remover Cream. I gotta try that one. And number five is the scary one and it is using an epilator. Now, an epilator is a machine that you can buy to use at home and basically what it is, it looks like a little torture device. So it's actually an electronic device that removes hair by grasping multiple hairs at the same time and simultaneously pulling them out. Basically, it's like tweezers on level a thousand. You might say to yourself, why the heck would people choose to use such a torture painful device such as an epilator. And that is because it does not affect your skin at all. If you have sensitive skin, if you're applying wax, that basically it's a lot of friction on your skin. You're ripping off. It's it's very harmful to your skin in the long run. Shaving can also irritate you. And obviously if you're using a depilatory, you're putting chemicals on your skin. So using an epilator is one of the only ways other than lasering that you're not really causing a lot of harm to your skin. An epilator is only focusing on the little hairs. It's just gonna pick them up and simultaneously rip them out, but your skin is not affected at all. Now that soft, smooth skin that it's going to leave behind, if you can bear the whole process, I'm gonna say to epilate your entire bikini area, or if you wanna give yourself a little Brazilian with the epilator, it probably would take anywhere from 40 minutes to one hour, but your results will last up to two weeks. And epilators are not very expensive they range anywhere from 30 to $50. And again, the more that you use your epilator, the thinner that your hair follicles will start to grow in. Another great thing about epilators is that you can use them at absolutely any time. For any of you girls that have gone to get a wax before, you know that your hair has to grow in about a quarter of an inch before they can actually go ahead and wax you. If you wanna use an epilator, you can use it on the tiniest, tiniest, little tiny hairs, and you're good to go. So that is basically it. Those are all the ways that you can go ahead and get rid of your hair down there. Again, there's no shame in anybody's game if you like a fuller down there area. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm also gonna add that I personally am a very basic girl. Although I do like to get rid of my hair down there, I just go ahead and shave. A little TMI, I don't think that you guys really needed to know all that about me, but anyway, this is a TMI video. And again, if you guys have any topics that you're afraid to ask your friends or your mom or your doctor about and you just want me to either discuss 
my experience with those topics or any advice or knowledge that I might be able to share with you guys, definitely let me know in a comment down below. Thumbs up this video if you like these type of bits. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well as my vlog channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.